This is a quick walkthrough of how we can configure the PCF app autoscaler via manifest and then configure autoscaling CLI command. During this walkthrough, we'll use the autoscaler CLI and the UI to verify the configuration changes are being applied as expected. With the autoscaler errand enabled in the PAS tile in Ops Manager, we can create an app autoscaler service instance within the space. We can bind the service instance to our app in a couple of ways. Like other service instances, we can bind the app via the CLI. Optionally, we can bind the service instance to our app via the app manifest. For this example, we're assuming the app manifest YAML already exists. To it, we'll add the service instance and push the manifest. Whether bound via the CLI or the manifest, we can run the autoscaling apps CLI command to see that our app is bound to the service instance. Note that during the initial binding, autoscaler is not enabled and the minimum and maximum scaling instances are not set. We can also run autoscaling rules for the app and see that no autoscaling rules have been created. Now we'll configure and enable Autoscaler and create our first scaling rule using an app Autoscaler manifest file. The app Autoscaler manifest is separate from your app manifest. You can choose the name of your app Autoscaler manifest to best suit your needs. We've set the Autoscaler instance limits to one minimum and two maximum and added an HTTP throughput rule. Return to the CLI to push your Autoscaler configuration changes. CF Help will display all of the Autoscaler CLI commands for reference. We'll use the Configure Autoscaling command with the full path to our Autoscaler manifest file to deploy our Autoscaler configuration. This configuration method can also be automated in your preferred deployment pipeline, which we will demonstrate in a separate walkthrough. Once we've processed the Autoscaler manifest, we can run the Autoscaling Rules command for the app and see that the HTTP throughput rule has been added. Additionally, we can run the autoscaling apps command and see that the autoscaler has been enabled on our app and the minimum and maximum instances have been set. Now we'll increase our min and max instance limits and add more rules to our app autoscaler manifest file. We'll run the configure autoscaling command again to deploy the changes. When complete, we can again run the autoscaling rules command for our app to see that the new rules have been applied. We can also run the autoscaling apps command to see that our minimum and maximum instances have been updated. Scheduled instance limit changes can also be made via the App Autoscaler manifest. You can set a recurrence, the date and time to start executing the limit changes, and the minimum and maximum instance limits that you want to set at those times. Scheduled instance limit changes are not currently supported in the CLI itself, but you can verify the change by logging into the Apps Manager and viewing your Apps Autoscaling settings. You can also verify all of the other app autoscaler settings via the UI 
including current instance limits and rules.